And what did she say? She admired your spirit, your grace. And what then? She, uh... If every man were held accountable for the actions of every distant relative, Sir Alton, then we'd all hang. She tore the paper in half, Your Grace. You've acted with honor. I thank you for it. Lord Carstark, see that Sir Alton's pen is clean, and give him a hot supper. Sir Alton's pen is occupied, Your Grace. The prisoners from the Yellow Fork. Too many prisoners. Is there room for Sir Alton? Does he need to lie down? Have the men build him a new pen. Put him in with the Kingslayer for now. Have your boy watch over them. Torun. That will be all. Your Grace, a minute of your time. I've been treating your wounded men. And my enemies, as some of my bannermen are fond of mentioning. They are not my enemies. That's what I tell my bannermen. I've already run through the supplies I brought with me. Some are easily replaced, egg yolks, turpentine, oil of roses. But some are not. I need silk for stitching. I need fennel root for those with fever, willow bark. Mostly I need milk of the poppy. You saw what it was like to amputate a foot without any. I assume there will be more loss of limb before this war is over. If you need help finding these... I know where to find them. I'm sorry, I shouldn't interrupt you. Continue, my lady. You're riding to the crag to negotiate a surrender? Yes. The crag will have a meister, and he will have what I need. I expect he will. If I could write a list. Come with me to the crag. I don't think that'll be. Let the maester show you his stores. I want the wounded men to be treated well. All the wounded men. <laughs> 